Last December, the United Way of Thunder Bay announced that over $17,000 was raised by local high school students through the United Way Rock 94 High School Challenge. Well, the High School Challenge has been going on for roughly nine years now, and it's in partnership with uh, Rock 94, and it's, um, it's a challenge to all high schools who want to participate in fundraising for the United Way, and it's a month-long event um, that um, the high schools participate in, try to raise the most money as the possible. The money then was put in the Youth for Community program, which provides funds to registered charitable organizations. Students from each participating high school then formed the United Way Youth granting committee to allocate the funds to the youth charities in our community. We thought we could combine the two to make an interesting way for young people to get aware of some of the youth programs and also aware of some of the youth issues in our community. So joining the two together became a nice tie and uh, it was a way that young people could continue to work and work with the United Way and also see where their funding went. After they raised the funds they could actually see where it went in the community. Sarah Nixon is the co-chair of the Youth Granting Committee and was involved in picking the youth charities that were given grants. It was tough. We looked through four applications and um, we went through, looked at their budgets, looked at exactly what they were going to be doing at all the priority areas they'd be affecting. Um, and from that we tried to sort of rank them and decide which we thought was most important um, and where the money would have the most effect. So that's how we sort of based our decisions. It was very successful this year. Um, last year I want to say we had something like $15,000 maybe, but I know that we definitely made more this year, making $17,000. Um, and then I also think that the programs that we ended up funding were really amazing, so very successful. Sarah's co-chair, Ryan Kristofsik, was also involved from the beginning and encourages all students to get involved in the high school challenge and the youth granting committee. It's definitely really important for the youth because if we don't get youth involved now, it'll be hard to in the future. I feel like the youth has a really big voice and that people will listen to us if we have opinions. The Youth Granting Committee presented checks to the Eagle Cove Enrichment Program, Alpha Court's Kick Exams in the Butt, and the United Way Community Fund. Reporting in Thunder Bay, I'm Janice Gummison.